So in balancing chemical equation, we follow law of conservation of mass. That means the number of atoms on the product side and the reactant side should be equal. So look at this equation Ca plus H2O gives CaOH twice plus H2. So first step is we will write all the elements involved in the chemical reaction and then we will equate the number of atoms on the product and the reactant side. Now if I take calcium, we can see that only one atom is there in the reactant side. And here also in the product side also we can see only one atom. Now look for hydrogen. Here you, you have two. And here we can see that two hydrogen atom and here also two. So two plus two will become four. Now oxygen. Oxygen on the reactant side we have one and the product side we have two. So Ca plus H2O gives CaOH twice plus H2. So after writing the equation, we will put the coefficients. So we have to we are going to balance the number of hydrogen atom. So what I do is I will put 2 in front of H2O. So when I put 2 here, what happens is you can see that 2 into 2, the total number of atoms will become 4. So the hydrogen is balanced. Now think about oxygen. See when I put 2 here, or automatically the number of oxygen atom become 2. So I can write 2 here. And already on the product side, the oxygen atom is 2. So now if you check once again, calcium is already balanced. It is already 1 only. Hydrogen is balanced and oxygen is balanced. H2SO4 plus KOH gives K2SO4 plus H2O. So first step is writing all the elements involved in the reaction K, S, H and O. Now we will find out the number of atoms on each side. So here you can see that uh, potassium is only one. One atom is there and on the product side we have two. Now what about sulfur? We have one sulfur atom here and here also we have one sulfur atom. Now what about hydrogen? Hydrogen we have two here and here you have one. So two plus one, three. And uh, what about the product side? We have two hydrogen atom. Now oxygen we have four plus one, five. And here we can see that four plus one, now we can start with the with potassium. Okay, so when you uh, balance the equation, we can follow this order. First, we we'll do metals, then we can do non-metals, then hydrogen, and then oxygen. So uh, I'm going to put first of all. Let me write the equation: H2SO4 plus KOH gives K2SO4 plus H2O. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put 2 here. So that the number of potassium atom remains the same on both sides. So I have to change the number 2. So when I put 2 here, what happens to oxygen and hydrogen? You have to check that. So here you can see that the number of hydrogen become 2 so here also we have 2, so 2 plus 2 will become 4. And on the product side, we can see that only 2 hydrogen atoms are there. So we should balance that. So here I am going to write 4. And here only 2 hydrogen atoms are there. So what I should do in order to make 4, I am going to put uh, the coefficient 2. Because 2 into 2 will give you 4. So the number of hydrogen atom is balanced. Now we can see that then we have to check the oxygen atom. See here we have 4 and a plus 2. 4 plus 2 will give you 6. And here already we have 4 plus 2, 6. So the number of oxygen atom is also balanced. And the number of sulfur atom is the same. So this is how you do the balancing.
PbNO3 twice gives PbO plus NO2 plus O3. So now let's check the number of atoms on the reactant and product side. So lead one atom here also one. Now look for the number of nitrogen atom. We have two here and here we have only one atom. Now look for oxygen three into two is six and here you have one, two and two. So all together five oxygen atom. So since the number of lead atoms are equal, we will go for nitrogen. So let me write the equation PbNO3 twice gives PbO plus NO2 plus O2. So the number of nitrogen atom is 2. So what I can do is I'll multiply by 2. So what happens here is the number of nitrogen atoms becomes 2. Now what happens to the number of oxygen atom? Number of oxygen atom will become 2 into 1. Then you have 2 into 2, 4, and then 2. So it will become 7. So the number of oxygen atom becomes 7. It's an odd number. So what we can do, we can multiply by 2 and then make it an even number. So what I'm going to do is, I will write the equation once again and I will show you PbNO3 twice gives PbO plus 2NO2 plus O2. I'm going to multiply by a 2 over here. So what happens here is the number of lead atoms changes. So what I do is I'll show here 2 and here also I will put a 2 so that the number of lead atoms become equal. Now what happens to the nitrogen atom? See 2 into 2 then again you have a 2 here. So 2 nitrogen atom 2 into 2 will become 4 so that the number of nitrogen atoms should be changed so i'm going to write it as 4 now what about the product side product side we have only two nitrogen atom so i will write that equation once again no3 twice gives 2 pbo i should write 4 4 no2 plus o2 so the number of nitrogen atom on both sides will be equal. Now we check the number of oxygen atom. So here we have 3 into 2, 6 into 2. So altogether 12 oxygen atom. Here you have 2, here 4 into 2, 8, and here you have 2. So 10 plus 2, 12. So the number of oxygen atom is also balanced. C4H10 plus O2 gives. CO2 plus H2. Now let's uh, count the number of carbon atom. We have four on the reactant side and one on the product side. Now hydrogen we have 10 and here we have 2. Now count the number of oxygen atom. 2 on the reactant side and 2 plus 1 that is 3 on the product side. Now let's start with carbon. So C4 H10 plus O2 gives CO2 plus H2. So now what I'm going to do is I'll put 4 here so that the number of carbon atoms become 4. Now look at hydrogen. Hydrogen we have 10 here and here we have only 2. So how to make it 10? So I can multiply by 5 here. So if I put 5 here, then 5 into 2 will become 10. So I can write 10 here. But now think about oxygen atom. Here you have 2 oxygen atom. And here 4 plus 2, 8. And 5 plus 3, it becomes 13. So in order to make this number of oxygen atom as 13, the easiest way is just multiply 13 by 2. So what I have to do here, I should write, I will write that step C4H10 plus 13 by 2 O2 because we are multiplying with 13 by O2, 13 by 2. So we will get 4 CO2 plus 5 H2O. And now if you don't want that fraction to be there, what you have to do? Multiply throughout by 2 so that our equation will become 2 C4H10 then 13 O2, then 4 into 2, 8 CO2, 
5 into 2, 10 H2O.